WCHT Local Lifestyles continues. Well, it's a banner day here at King's Great Buys Plus because we're in the Kitchen Aid Kitchen with the wonderful and talented chef team from Texas Roadhouse. We're going to make some ribs today. That's right. And to introduce your team every, to everybody, Jonathan. So I'm Jonathan Bland. I'm the service manager at Texas Roadhouse. This is Nicole Wilson. She is our local store marketer. And this is Paul Graham. He is our kitchen manager. So we have all our management team here today with you to kind of go over our rib recipe for you and show you how we make our award-winning fall off the bone ribs. And they, they do fall off the bone. So that is there, correct. There's some secrets there, but what, how do we begin? Yeah. All right, so basically, we're going to go ahead and show you the best possible recipe that you can make their ribs <laughs> in your house. Um, Get a pan, write we're, it down. We're going to have a little bit uh, different equipment than the average kitchen would have at your house. So these might not be the exact same as what you would eat in our restaurant, but it's the best possible recipe you can make at your house. So first off, you're going to go ahead and take off some uh, pork ribs is what we use. Uh, they are not baby back, they're just regular pork ribs. Uh, I'm going to take a normal sized baking pan and I'm gonna put the ribs in there. And then you can go ahead and put, we use water, uh, five cups of water. And in one cup of your uh, average liquid smoke, you can pick it up at any store, whatever you want to choose. Do you, do you spread it on there? Just pour it on there, John? So How do you do it? We just put it in the bottom of the pan, and when it bakes, it's going to come happen. up. Yep, that's Let it correct. Happen. So we've already kind of done that. As you can see, the liquid smoke and the water already in the bottom of the pan on side of our ribs here. And then uh, we're going to take our seasoning here onto our ribs. This is our own seasoning here. You can actually, yeah, we've got some bottles up here. You can actually buy that in store. Um, so but it's not a big secret. The seasoning is not a big secret. No, you yeah. can buy that in our store, but you can use any kind of dry rubber anything that you would like on your own ribs at your house. Okay. So yeah, you're just going to take out, we put it in a shaker for good even coating. We're going to take it over the top here. Now you didn't rub that rib, the rib temp for it with anything, did you? Mm -mm. Just let it be what nope, it is. they're not marinated or anything. And, but they're room temp. That is, right. The, the, uh, yeah, we just let them sit out there. They're colder, they're not necessarily room temperature, but yeah, they don't have to be ice cold to do this awesome. or anything. So we're just going to take this season, get an even coating all the way across. Oh, that smells great, doesn't it? Oh, oh yes. yes. Our seasoning is a little bit more of a, it's got a little bit of a kick to it also. A little I can smell that kick. And then we're going to come around both sides here. You're looking for a wet sand look is almost what you want to look for here on these ribs. Oh, that's a good guideline. Okay. It does. Wet, wet sand. A good cook. Well, coating. you really put it on there, don't you? Wow. That is correct. That is correct. So how long does that go in? That's it. You just sit there and let them season. Um, after that, you're going to take your pan, you're going to preheat your oven to 300 degrees at your house. 300 is what you're looking for. Um, and you're just going to put your, put your ribs in, and you're going to keep track of them. Uh, each oven's going to cook a little bit differently. Uh, we go for we go for eight and a half hours on ours, but uh, that's a, again that's a that's a restaurant oven. It's going to bake a little bit different than your normal normal oven at your house. So just keep an eye on them, uh, making sure until they're done. So yeah, after the ribs are up to temperature and they're cooked to a, to where they are finished for your liking, um, the third and final step is you're actually going to take these off. You're going to preheat your grill, and you're going to put them on the grill. You're going to put them face down like this. You're going to coat them with barbecue sauce on the bottom side. Then you're going to flip it over and cook it after they're done cooking on this side. You're going to flip it over. You just really want to get whatever barbecue sauce of your choice. It doesn't really matter. We have our own signature barbecue sauce. And then you're just going to wait till the barbecue starts start sizzling and bubbling. And uh, that's why it gives it the real nice caramelized barbecue and a great flavor, basically. Low and slow, right? Low and yeah. slow. All right, Nicole, now what do we like to serve with these wonderful magical ribs here? So we like to call our made from scratch slides. And here today we have our loaded sweet potato. Um, really easy recipe. You want to cook your sweet potatoes uh, fully, and then once you take them out, you cut them uh, down the middle, and then you'll want to about a cup of marshmallows and two ounces of your choice of caramel, and you'll put half. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure, let's just put some caramel yes, on, oh, on top absolutely. of the marshmallows. Why not? So then you'll put half of the marshmallows on the bottom. Uh, you'll top it with the caramel, and then on top you'll put the rest of the marshmallows and. You'll put it in the oven and let it cook to a golden brown. Perfect. And great rolls, great side dishes, great food from talented chefs who are passionate about what they do. Texas Roadhouse in the KitchenAid Kitchen at King's. Ready to eat some pull it off the bone ribs. Thank dang. And thank you this very much. This is awesome. Shop with these people. They'll feed you. This portion of Lifestyles is sponsored by King's Great Buys Plus.